what's up guys thanks for clicking on my video I hope everybody's doing good out there today we're gonna to be checking out the Sekmet digital gauges these are basically the gold standard for air gun gauges by the way this is an antique target I bought you do have to walk down and reset it every time you shoot it so these go for like three to eight thousand dollars at times these are basically the gold standard for air gun gauges they're going to give you a reading many times more accurate than any analog gauge. And this is also like a mini computer, so we'll get more into that in a second. But as you can see, these are super shiny. It looks like a jewel when it, you open the box, or maybe a fine watch is what I would compare it to. The OLED display is so bright that I had a hard time getting a camera that would film it, but I finally did figure it out. These sell for 99 bucks, and you can find them at Sekmet's website. Sekmet also offers some other cool PCP products, and they did tell me they're coming out with a couple new items soon. And I'll tell you guys, all the pros have these on their guns. Like I said, they're the gold standard for air gun gauges. So this video, real quick, we're just going to go through, and I'm going to show you basically how to program your regulator pressure in to your gauge. Once you program your regulator pressure, this gauge will compute all your stuff like average pressure of your shot, your shot count, how many you've taken, of course, it's going to tell you the pressure of your bottle. It's going to tell you how many shots you have left, among other things. So we're going to burn through this real quick. I'm going to make it super easy. It actually is once you understand it. So here we go. So that is your fill pressure, the pressure of your tank, and how many shots you have shot so far. Now you hold down this top button again. It's going to tell you your battery percentage. Now, these two here are just right and left toggle, and then your top button is going to be select. So it's going to get you in and out of the menu with a long press. So we're in simple mode right now, but I'll explain that. So this gets us into uh, your menu. So let's say we want to select simple mode. All right, so now you can go off or on. We're going to do off. Now, when we go out of the menu, this right here is gonna show you your average air consumption per shot. So how much air you use on average per shot. Hit left one time, and that's gonna show you how much air you used on your last shot. Hit left one more time, and it's gonna show you how many shots you have left. Hit it one last time, and you're back to your tank pressure and how many shots you've taken so far. And there we are, back to tank pressure and how many shots you've taken so far. Super cool. And now, now when you get there, it won't scroll anymore. You have to scroll left, or you have to scroll right again. Shots left. How much air you used on your last shot. Average amount of air used per shot. And that's it, okay. So to get back to our menu, just hold this down. All right, so I'm just gonna scroll through real quick. We got simple mode. We got fill wake up mode, which is pretty much what you'd be using if you're in competition. Power off is where you set how long you want your gauge to stay on for before it shuts itself off. Screen off is the same thing for the screen. Set the time you want until your screen turns off. Data clear is where it keeps track of all your information and you can go ahead and clear that out anytime you want. P minimum is your most important. That's where you set your regulator pressure. And that allows the gauge to calculate all the parameters this right here is to rotate the screen to orientate to your gun better. And the last setting is wake up by shot and we'll explain that in a little bit. At the end of your menu, you're gonna to come to device info and if you hit that, it'll tell you what version of software you have. So older segment gauges can be updated with the newest software if you want. Now at this point, we can long press the right button and it'll get us out of the menu. And now we're back to our current tank pressure and how many shots we've taken so far. Now since I'm at the end of my menu, I'm going to have to long press the less button to get back into it. Now I'm just going to scroll th through to the beginning of the menu. And we'll go through real fast and set up my gauge for the FX impact. We already went over simple mode. The next one is fill wake up mode. Now if this mode is on, I believe that might be one of the cases where you only get 18 hour standby mode. But I couldn't really figure that out for sure. You'll just have to try it at home. And in this mode... The gun is going to wake up anytime you fire a shot 
or the pressure is decreased or increased. At the end of this video, I'll explain the two circumstances that will get you 300 hours standby versus 18 hours standby. Next, we got power off. We're going to set the time that we want for our gauge to turn itself off. So you just hit the top button to select, and then you're going to be able to scroll up and down. Those are minutes. So I'm going to set mine for two minutes. And now after two minutes, my gauge will shut itself off. Now the next one is screen off. This is going to be when your gauge is on, but your screen turns itself off. So that's actually measured in seconds. Go. You can scroll right or left. I'm going to go ahead and set mine for nine seconds. You just hit the top button real quick to select. Now our next screen is the data clear screen. And this is maybe when your tank is empty, you're ready to refill, you want to clear out your shot count and all that other stuff. This will not clear your regulator pressure, don't worry about that. It's just going to clear your shot count and stuff, you just turn that off and then on again, select it and then it's going to ask you if you want to confirm, you just hit the yes button is on the left and hit the top button to exit. Now everything's back at zero. But this next one, now this is the only thing you actually have to set in your gauge. You just set what your regulator pressure is set at. So the FX Impact M3 across all the calibers, the front regulator is at 150 bar. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit the top button to get into the menu. It looks like I already set it, but I went. it starts at 50. So I just had to pop it all the way up to 150. And then when you get it at your desired, this is what your regulator is set at. Then you're going to go ahead and hit the select button. And now that's in there. It won't clear out. And that's it. Off that one thing, then your SecMet gauge is going to be able to calculate everything off that one number. Next, we got the rotate your screen option. So you just turn this off and on. Then when you exit out of it, your screen will be the opposite way. You have to go back in, turn it off and on again, and then your screen will be back the way it was. So this last choice is the wake by shot option. And this is basically going to wake up the gauge or turn it on whenever the pressure falls. So that would mean when you pull your trigger, it's going to pop on, show you the pressure for a second, and then go off again. At the end of your menu, you're going to come to device info. And if you hit that, it'll tell you what version of software you have. So older segment gauges can be updated with the newest software if you want. And of course, that's your battery percentage right there. In addition, you guys, the newest versions, and I'm sure that this one I have here, if you did the update on it, is also going to tell you the temperature. So it can tell you the temperature of the air in your bottle, which can have an effect on stuff when you're shooting. So, very cool option. So to charge this, you just line the two holes on the top up with the two holes on the top on the gauge. You can plug it into your cell phone charger, any 5 volt charger, and it sticks on there with a magnet. It'll charge up and then just disable itself when it's done. A question that I had was, in what settings do you get 300 hours standby time and in what settings do you get 18 hours standby time? And the answer to that is that as long as you have your gauge set to turn itself off, that is you don't have it on the always on feature, then you're going to get that 300 hour standby time. So if you do set your gauge to always on for a match or something, just remember to turn it back off and you'll be fine. Definitely check out Sekhmet. The advantage of having a digital gauge is that you can get your regulator pressure exactly where you want it, to the T. If you have an analog gauge, you're going to have 10 or 15 bar that it could be off. So it will definitely allow you to get more performance out of your gun. Also, this gauge is waterproof, so it could be submerged in water for up to 30 minutes. Any of you guys that don't know, OLED screens are the best LED screens available right now. And they're only used in the highest end products. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.